Okay team, we're back. This is part two of self-confidence, um, building your self-confidence. Um, because of the software that I'm using, um, it only allows you to record a certain amount of time. So I'm going to try to get through this, but we may end up with a part three or part four. I'm not sure, but I will try to get through this. But um, again, make sure you have pen and pencil because I believe this is rich. I used to have a professor that says that this is rich. So building your self-confidence, okay? Um, let's see, where was I? Okay, so what is self-confidence? All right, self-conscious confidence, first of all, is two main things that contribute to self-confidence, and that is self-efficacy and self-esteem, okay? Um, we gain a sense of self-efficacy when we see ourselves and others similar to ourselves, mastering a particular skill and achieving goals um, that matter to those skill areas. All right, and this is the confidence that if we learn and work hard in a particular area, we'll succeed. And it's the type of confidence that leads people with, to accept difficult challenges and persist in the face of setbacks. So, um, two main particular ingredients we need um, for self-confidence is self efficacy and self-esteem okay your self-esteem is the area of how you feel and see yourself um, efficacy is when you um, can put yourself in the position or the place of someone else seeing through their eyes more or less okay now when you see yourself similar to someone else that's on the same level you feel that's on the same level as you okay as you you get up every day you go to work you have children you have a family and you come home and you start your day repeatedly and you can see somebody that say they just like me they're no better than me they just like me but they're achieving they're winning their their goals are being met and when you see them like wow if she can do it then I can do it. That's why our leader, our team leader, Pamela Walker, um, always says, you know, be transparent. Let people see and hear about your successes. Post in the group or post on your page um, um, live achievements, um, life achievements rather. Um, like when she ch she out there and she make a post or a video showing herself passing on her bliss cards talking to other people other women other men about her business she does that so that you can see that wow if she can do it surely I can too and when you see that it helps build your self-esteem because you seeing yourself through someone else's eyes you're relating to that other person and it helps build your self-esteem it helps build your self-confidence it helps you um, be willing and more um, acceptable to facing and accepting challenges even when you have setbacks you're not quick to say oh man forget this I'm done you're not so quick to just throw in a towel you're not so quick to throw to just give up you will um, when you see the struggles of others and yet they're still persistent they're still um, pursuing their goals it will help you to gain that self that same self-confident that same build your your self-esteem as well in addition and help you not to give up but persevere and um, be more consistent and press and push until you too gain your success so that's what self-confidence is. You need those two main ingredients. And we, by watching others, by watching our leader, we too can follow the leader. If you remember that game we used to play when we were little, follow the leader and do what she's doing and building our business. So building self-esteem, self-confident rather. Building self-confident. How do I do that exactly? Well, first of all, we know that let me give you the bad news first of all we know that there's no um quick antidote or there's no quick solution or no five minute solution um to do this okay let's just throw that out out the get away you know get rid of that that thought that thought process 
you need to first the good news the good news is though let me give you the good news now the good news is that it can be done building your self confidence can be done and the reason why i chose this topic is because sometimes secretly um all of us have no not secretly all of us have challenges in one area or another some have more confidence than others and we may or may not put it all the way out there but our body language and our activities and our behavior and our um what we do in our business show and tell where we are okay so and this is no bashing or it's no stones being thrown and no shots thrown being shot you know aimed at anyone it's just something that an area that we are in one or in one form or another have to um have to to work on okay so how do we do this how do we do this um again the good news is that it can be done okay and it is readily achievable and if we are willing to be focused willing to be determined and to to follow things through then it can be achievable it can be done and the way we do this is um what's even better is the things that the things that that's our leader right there i apologize the things that um we we can do is to build your self confidence is this remember what she said what the lady said in the video um if you didn't see the video go back to part one and watch the video very short very short and it's some it summarized everything that i'm saying to you i'm just giving you a little more detail um of what you can do all right so what's even better is that you can build your self-esteem um if you're willing to be focused and you're willing to be determined okay so to build your self-esteem your or your self-confidence um by doing so you will build success you will obtain success your confidence will come from real solid achievement okay and the awesome thing about it is that once you achieve it no one can take it away from you no one can change it no one can tell you anything different okay so here are three steps to self-confidence in which um which can will be which can be used as a metaphor of a journey all right so step one preparing your journey in order for you to prepare your journey the first step involves with getting yourself ready for your journey to self-confidence you will need to take stock in where you are right now think about where you want to go okay and that plays a part within when we talk about when our leader talk about um writing down our goals making goals and the reason is that so you can see where you're going you're not just winging it you're not just like i'm gonna take it as it go i'm gonna take it as it come because then you will be all you'll find yourself all over the place but when you have a set vision a set list or a set of goals or what you want to do or where you want to go then you know what direction you need to fly in or you need to know you know what direction you need to climb and work towards so get your mindset right okay my my family and i we have a joke where when people acting up they're like uh-uh you need to get your mind right <laughs> so get your mind right okay and, and when i'm talking to you i'm talking to myself so don't feel like i'm just you know pointing out or directing this to anyone it's to all of us it's to all of us get your mind right for your journey and commit yourself to starting it and staying with it be committed be committed okay look at what you've already achieved and and prepare for your journey these do you need to here's a, a little um activity for you to do do these five things look at which first of all take a look at what you already achieved i always call it taking a walk down memory lane that's what i call it for myself when i'm up against something challenging or i'm in a place where i've never been before 
or I'm about to face something the unfamiliar I look at I always take a walk down memory lane when I need to reboot my faith when I need to reboot my confidence and my um my belief in myself and, and my belief and where I know that God brought me from I always take a walk down memory lane I always so I know that this is this is legit as far as or this is um solid to what needs to be done because I'm realizing that this is what I was doing this is what I do for me personally I look at what I already achieved. I take a walk down memory lane. I think about in my life the successes that I have already achieved in the past. Like for me, um, making it through high school, which was a challenge because I was a, a teenage young mother, you know, and it was a struggle. And I almost didn't graduate the 12th grade because, and there was no place for after school programs. I didn't get to have a childhood because I was a mother. And my mother was like, she was one of them old school mothers. You laid, you made this bed, now you're going to lay in it and you want to, you know, um, lay in your own bed. She was that type of mother. She wasn't mean or anything, but she made me be responsible. Um, so I would take a, you know, graduating high school graduating getting my bachelor's because for some of you that didn't know I was a special ed student reading was my I had a a, a disability no, I didn't have a, a learning disability was reading can you imagine with reading but yet but yet I don't even think you know that I really had that issue I just was so shy and afraid to talk they just said oh she has uh, a reading disability I didn't want people to hear me talk I didn't want people to see me <laughs> so when they don't understand they just slap a label on you you know but anyway I got my bachelor's I got my master's for somebody that had a reading um, disability a learning disability you know so anyway, I'm reading now, right? <laughs> but anyway, um, so look at your past successes, okay? Look at your past successes and think about, okay, well, if I made it through that, I can make it through this. Make an achievement log, okay? Write down all the things that you have accomplished thus far up until where you are right now. Perhaps you came to the top in an important test or an exam. Or maybe you played a key role in an important team. Or you produced the best sales figures in a period of time. Or did something that made a key difference in someone else's life. Or delivered a project that meant a lot for your business. Whatever it could have been. Just think about those things and write it down. Put them into a smartly format, as the lady said in the video, and document all of that so you can periodically look, take a look at that, flip it open when you feel feeling at your low, at your lowest. Think about your strengths, your abilities, and all that you can do. You know, if you're good with the computer, or you're good with writing, you good with speaking, or you're good at, um, you know, hospitality and um as far as greeting people talking making people feel welcomed and and being a part you know think about your strengths and your tech the different techniques that you have the abilities of using and um work on those things use them use them think about the opportunities um and the threats that you have faced in the past and how you overcome those things Take a few minutes and reflect on all of those things. Think about what's important to you and where you want to go, okay? Think about these things often because when you find yourself getting caught up, because sometimes people can come along and they can transfer um, feelings of fear, feelings of failure, feelings of um, all kinds of feel, negative feelings. But when you constantly keep your mind stayed on these things, it will help dictate and control your personal feelings, not easily, so that you're not easily to be persuaded into doing other things. Alright? Start managing.